state of origin sized war of words has erupted between New South Wales and Queensland over the Cross River Rail project. Queensland's project was snubbed in the federal budget while money was committed for Sydney's second airport. The New South Wales Roads Minister says Queensland's business case clearly doesn't stack up. It's the North-South link that sparked an interstate stink. It's about time the Labor states stopped whinging and got on with their own work. Australia's transport and infrastructure ministers came together in Brisbane and while the Labor states were lining up to cry poor after the federal budget... Why won't Malcolm Turnbull put his hand in his pocket when it comes to Queensland, but when it comes to New South Wales, he's got both hands in his pockets and he's handing over money just like an ATM. The New South Wales Roads Minister took aim at our Cross River Rail bid. I think these projects have been looked at fairly, I just say to Queensland, maybe do your work a bit better. This is an absolute furphy, a 2,000 plus page, $7 million business case. Infrastructure Australia says it has a number of outstanding concerns with Queensland's business case, but Jackie Trad insists it's not the business case that's the problem, it's politics. I want to know what the bottleneck is. Release the business case, let's have a look at it. Um, are they proposing six new secret taxes? A day after her apparently productive meeting with the Prime Minister, the Premier is hitting hurdles again. What does Malcolm Turnbull have against Queensland? And as she weighs up, if Queensland can make a start on Cross River Rail in the forthcoming state budget, she fears the supposedly independent Infrastructure Australia has been politicised. I am starting to get that feeling. And the Together Union commissioned a Reachtel poll last night which found if a state election was held today, Labor would get 31.9%, LNP 30.6%, while One Nation is at 16.7%. On a two-party preferred basis, Labor is at 51 to LNP 49, but 10% of the electorate is still undecided. Asked if parties should declare if they'll cut public service jobs, more than three-quarters of those surveyed said they should do so before election day.